Hello everyone, welcome back to my island. My name is Hannah and I'm really happy you're here. Today I'm going to make a little tour of my island so far. Um, I think I've had it for about three weeks this way and currently I'm back in April to collect the bunny day um, recipes, the cherry blossom recipes and the bamboo recipes. I'm usually not much of a fan of time travel but I really wanted to catch up because I've been playing since March but I will have to wait another whole year to um, actually complete my museum and I don't want to wait that long so I'm taking the time to actually redo everything in March, April, May and June so that I am back up to date with, with all the fish that I've already caught in my other games so so yes um, I actually took a break of a week in between so actually I've only been working on my island for about two weeks but I'm really happy with how it's coming along this is my entrance so far I've made a video of me decorating it and I think that since then I've only made really small changes such as the um, custom designs and maybe some plants but that's pretty much it and then also I've moved the nooks cranny down here because I really like having everything close to the plaza so that the plaza is really like the center of the town sort of I haven't decorated much of the um, exterior of my shop yet I've added the orange trees because I think it's really cute to match the fruit trees to um, to the shops instead of having a whole or orchard, orchard like I've also added the cherry trees to my tailor shop and I've also made a video decorating my tailor shop or I've made it together with the entrance so I've also not really done any large changes to that And here's the town part of my island. So here's where Judy, Marshall and Sherp live. I originally wanted to have Raymond here instead of Marshall, but Marshall's really grown on me and I think I think he's just really cute. So I think I'm going to keep him for a bit and maybe if I do get bored of him, get Raymond back from my old island. So because Marshall is a um, Marshall has a cafe for his interior and also his house just kind of rem I think fits the theme pretty well. I've gave, given him an outdoor cafe where he can just sit, have friends over. It's not completely done yet. Of course, everything is still a work in progress, but I really like how it's coming along. I thought the um, the garden wedding event furniture really fits well with this theme so I might add some more maybe some chairs maybe the hat table for Judy's house I I've kind of struggled with it with what I've kind of wanted to give her as a role but I really like the idea of having her like a gardener so I'm planting my hybrids here um, especially the pink and the orange ones and currently I'm still working on making blue hyacinths so I can crossbreed them with the orange ones to make blue, no purple, purple uh, hyacinths and make the lamps and then in her backyard I added a, a sewing, oops, a sewing work, work studio where she can make her own clothes because she's a fashionable little, little cup so I really like like this idea and I really like how it's coming along this is still of course nothing is finished yet those are all just ideas that I had and then try to try to create as good as possible but yes um, this is Raymond uh, no not Raymond this is Sherp's house and I think I really like the color this this bright turquoise I don't really know what to do with it but um, I've given him an outdoor picnic spot. It's kind of messy, but 
well he's a lazy boy so of course <laughs> it's messy um, and I have placed on the toy cockroach so, can, so he can have a little picnic with his with his bug friends <laughs> yeah um, I'm thinking I'm going to add some flowers and maybe expand his yard a little um, but here's Mac's house and I'm going to move Mac on the beach soon so I can probably landscape this area and Mac is going to be one of those smaller cottages in the forest that I've planned and the rest of the island on this pipe is not really landscaped yet so um, I'm going to show you the other side of the river like the canal I um, landscaped a small canal here because I see a lot of people do it and also I just think the idea is really cute and I do live in the Netherlands so it's just kind of I really like this idea and here's a small flea market um, which I've also made a video about and then this way are Dobie's house and Melba's house and when I see Melba I always really think that she's very social person who has her friends over a lot so I made her also a picnic spot and I think I'm going to add some more books because she's new normal and normals love to read and also her goal is to be a professor so I'm definitely going to add some more books maybe some writing utensils so she can live out that dream <laughs> and here's some like the wedding table and some mix and match chairs where she can have her friends over and have a small garden party and Dobie's house was originally where Fang's house was but um, then I changed my mind about Fang and brought back Dobie and I feel like Dobie's house does not match with Melba's house at all or like with the city or suburb part of this island so I'm going to actually move him to my house so he can be my neighbor and probably move Norma or another um, normal villager up here if I'm keeping Norma. I think I am though. So, um, but yeah, I'm going to move him with his whole yard because I really like the idea of Toby having a small garden where he plants vegetables and his pear trees and all that I'm moving it up to my house and I haven't decorated my house yet at all I just added I just know that I want to have it up here so Dobie is probably going to be somewhere here or maybe in the cliff above I don't really know yet how I'm going to terraform and landscape this this area when the bamboo is not going to stay I just planted it literally so I can have the young spring bamboo for leaf piles that's it <laughs> and yeah here's the museum um, I also don't think that I changed much about this um, <clears throat> since I made since I made the video about it it still has a small outdoor cafe and the peach trees not sure about the peach trees maybe I'm going to plant apple trees instead or hardwood trees, just I'm not sure yet. And back there is my campsite, and I think I'm going to keep it there. And then the part on the left to it, I'm going to have maybe some, yeah, some, some outdoor furniture for the camper to um, cook and maybe watch the stars, some cute stuff like that. This is also where I actually, if they ever let us build bridges across cliffs, then this is where I would want one. But yeah, we can't do it, so I made these stepping stones. I'm not a big fan of them, but I don't want it to just be empty between, like just be a be a canyon. I don't I didn't like that. So I terraformed a land bridge here just to kind of separate 
I guess the town part from my like hinterlands part so this is going to be kind of a division between the forest area that I'm going to create here and this is a 10 for my second character because I needed to have a second character to transfer all my furniture and items from my old island but I think I'm going to keep it and make it into a small reading area so far it's pretty undecorated but I thought that it would be cute if I made this into like a reading tent with book furniture and <clears throat> all of that and here's Pippi's house um, I really like the idea of her having like a beach house also because she has this wooden house so I put her back here some sort of she's it's kind of it's kind of isolated I think from the rest which I think was kind of uncommon for a Pappy villager because Pappy villagers are pretty social so usually I would put them close to other villagers but since but then I thought that she's you know she's a Pappy so she's a pop star and pop stars do need sometimes a place to wind down and calm down and relax so um, I decided to make her a beach house where, can, where she can be completely alone and just relax, take a bath, go swimming, look at the sea and fish. And there's um, is a turtle and a horseshoe crab on a date, I guess. <laughs> I thought this was a really cute idea. I'm. I think I'm still going to change some some stuff, but so far I'm really happy with it. I'm not sure about the fence yet, to be honest. So, um, back to back to this. This is this is where I was kind of breeding my flowers still. I'm working on green mums, but I'm not really successful so far. <laughs> They're really difficult. So down here is Punchy's house. Since Punchy is a, a cat and he also has this wooden exterior that you see at um, beaches in the North Sea. At the North Sea, like in Denmark. His house and Pippi's house kind of remind me of that, so I really wanted to put it on the beach. And it also has this color scheme that I think is really cute on the beach. Because he's a cat, of course, he likes fish, so he is kind of a fisher, a fisherman on my island. I think it's really cute. Um, I might add some more pirate items, for example, the ship helm here. I did just get it, and I wasn't really sure yet, but I think I will do it. And there's also the pier here. I I think I got the longest pier that there is. I I think it's just ridiculously long. I don't know how to decorate it. <laughs> I did my best. And yeah, I think that's pretty much it. I'm going to show you my map. Um so yes, that's it. I have Mac, Melba, Sherp, Doby, Punchy, Judy, Marshall, Norma, Pippi, and Deirdre. And like I said, I'm going to move Mac more into a foresty area. I do want to want most of my island to be a forest. I just worked on the town part for now because I think then I'm going to create the forest around it. That made the most sense for me, but um, Mac is going to live in the forest. Um, me and Dobie, of course, and um, and Deirdre, of course, as well. I also think that in the back part behind my house, I'm going to probably flatten the island a little so that I can be really creative with the terraforming but I think I will keep the 
river especially the way that it is right now and mm, yeah I'm I think I'm going to wing it mostly Thank you so much for watching i hope you're doing well i hope you're having a very good day and thanks so much again for for visiting me i hope you're getting everything done today that you wanted to get done and see you next time bye